Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing something very important that is hopefully, fingers crossed, going to save you guys and save you a lot of time and a lot of freakouts. So The Sims 4, we get updates like once a month. Sometimes they're very small updates and sometimes they are updates that are needed that pretty much break the game for many people or you feel as if they break your game. So I'm not going to do a massive introduction because I know I'll just get comments like real video starts at 2.30. So we're just going to get right on into it. This video is hopefully going to help you talk you through the steps of how to update your Sims 4 game correctly and hopefully not lose anything along the way. So it's come to that day where Origin and the Sims team have decided that they need to release a patch update. I'm going to be talking about the steps that I take. I obviously can't update my game right now because it's all updated, but I'm going to take you through everything that I usually do to help me prepare for a Sims 4 update. So the first thing that I would always ensure you do is turn off automatic updates. Don't have automatic updates turned on. They break so many things. If you aren't prepared for an update, your files are probably going to freak out. You're not going to be ready for it. And how you do that on Origin is you come up to this top right corner. If you go on application settings and then go on application and then here we have client update. So it's the third option down and here, as you can see, we have automatic game updates. So what you're going to want to do is turn that off. If it's not already switched off, it will turn green if you turn it on, but you want it off. So as you can see, it's now on. Switch that off. You don't want automatic updates. Trust me. The next step to updating your game is backing up your Sims 4 files. This pretty much goes for any game. If you are a gamer, you should always back up your files before you do an update. So what I would say, this one is a Sims 4 hard drive, but what I would say is buy a hard drive. If you are a gamer or if you just use your PC like day to day, get yourself an external hard drive because these bad boys are gonna save your Arse. So this is a, I think this is a one terabyte, which is honestly all you really need unless you have like loads of custom content and mods, a one terabyte will be plenty. So purchase yourself a flipping hard drive. I was lucky enough to be gifted this one by The Sims team. I don't know if I have to say that. Apparently I do now because I'm an influencer. So this was gifted to me for everyone wondering. But this is my hard drive and pretty much plug this in and back up your save files. I do have a whole video where I go through backing up your save files, but I will quickly do it in this video here. So as you can see down here, I have a file called The Sims 4 Files. And then what I do, so once I've opened this up, I'll also find where the game is stored on my PC. So if I go to my mods, as you can see, mine is actually on my D drive. Yours is probably on your C drive, but I actually save my Sims 4 to my D drive. So I'm on um, the documents and then electronic arts and then the Sims 4. So this is all of my Sims 4 folders. Like this is where my mods are. This is where my CC is, my saves, everything like that. So what I do is I copy my Sims 4 folder and then all you have to do is paste it to your external hard drive. And there you have it. You've backed up all your important data, your saves and your mods and custom content. Because the two biggest complaints I receive after everyone updates their game is help, my saves have disappeared or help, my custom content and mods have disappeared. So you need to back up every single time before an update. And then I would also suggest backing up at least twice a month as well, just in case anything does go wrong, like with your PC in general. And the next thing you're going to want to do before you even hit that update button on Origin for The Sims 4, you're going to want to copy or just drag over your Sims 4 mods folder 
over to your desktop. So pretty much all you have to do is take your mods folder where all your custom content and mods are. Obviously, if you don't have mods or CC in your game, then you can just skip this step. You won't need to do it. Um, and you also might say like, I should just skip this because you know, The Sims 4 disables mods and custom content anyway. But I always think your safest option is to have this backed up onto your hard drive and then also to take your mods folder and just drag it over to your desktop. So as you can see, it's been moved out of my Sims 4 folder. Then you're gonna wanna close this down and then you're gonna come back to Origin, go to your game library, right click, hit update, wait for the update to be done. And then once your Sims 4 is all updated, don't put your mods folder back in yet. Big mods usually break due to Sims 4 updates. So what I tend to do just to make sure everything is working without mods or custom content is actually load up The Sims 4. So I'm gonna double click on The Sims 4 and I'm just gonna wait for it to load up. After my Sims 4 is all loaded up, what I tend to do is actually load up a game just to make sure that everything's loading correctly, the game is playing the way it should be playing. And hopefully you should reach this screen with like no problems whatsoever. If you don't, then your game is probably screwed and rest in peace. But if you do manage to make it to this screen correctly, obviously I have removed my custom content. So currently people are looking a little bit weird. You need to exit out of your game without saving. And I say without saving because if you save right now when your custom content actually isn't in your files, if you save, you're gonna have to go back into Create a Sim once you put all your CC back into the game and then pretty much remake the character. So as long as you get to this screen, you know that your Sims is probably working absolutely fine. So you're just gonna exit the game without saving because you don't want your Sim looking like Jojo Siwa, like their hairline is receding and they have gone completely bald. So just exit out and you should be good. And then basically what will have happened in your Sims 4 folder is it will have created another mods file, but it won't have anything in it. So that's clearly not your mods folder. So you can just delete this and then transfer your old mods folder back into your Sims 4 files. So there you go, all your mods are back in your game, absolutely fine. Obviously you wanna do this after you've updated all of your mods if anything has broken. Usually the bigger like script mods, you can usually find the creators like tweeting about updates, like if anything's broken. They're usually on Twitter or they'll have an update in like the next couple of days. So pretty much keep out the mods that you know are broken, but you can transfer like your CC and stuff Stuff back into your Sims 4 files. I know this seems complicated, but honestly, once you get into the routine of doing this, like every patch, like this is just second nature to me now. Like I don't update my game without doing all of these steps and it only takes like five minutes to do. It's really not that hard once you get into the routine of it. So once you've moved your mods back in, you're once again gonna load up The Sims 4, wait for it to start, and then if your mods or custom content seem to have disappeared, which is honestly one of the biggest complaints I get every single time a patch it appears. So many people in my comment section are like, oh my god, all my CC was removed, like my sims are never gonna look the same, like what do I do? And there's like mass hysteria. This is because usually if you don't remove your mods folder from your Sims 4 folder, then the Sims 4 will automatically disable mods and custom content just so it knows that your game is going to update correctly and those broken mods that probably have broken in the patch won't actually have an effect on startup, which is very clever of the Sims team. So if you are thinking like, oh my god, my custom content has disappeared, 
go up to the options menu, try not to freak out, go to game options, and then you're gonna come down to other. And as you can see here, there are options for custom content and mods. So usually after an update, these will be disabled. Like both of these will be disabled. So all you have to do is like click it back on, restart your game and your mods and script mods should be back in your game. So like I said, try not to freak out. I know it's scary if you have like 10 gig of custom content and you're just like, where the hell did all of this go? I'm gonna have to re-download everything, which is also why I said back up your files in case anything does get deleted permanently just to make sure you have a copy of the original. And then you can always drag your original mods folder from the backup back into your Sims 4 folder. Sounds complicated, it's really not, I promise you guys. So that pretty much rounds this video up. That is every step I take before updating my Sims 4 game. The most important thing is always have a backup of your files, so in case anything does go wrong, you lose your saves or you lose your mods, you can always just drag and drop the original folders back into your Sims 4 files. I did see a couple of people actually saying that after this latest patch, the save file seems to have disappeared. I've personally never experienced this issue, but I will leave a link down in the description to hopefully help you out with that. So like I said, I've never actually had that issue occur, but fingers crossed the fix in the description down below should help you out with that if you have been suffering from missing save files in The Sims 4. And on a really quick note, I used to do a series called Tips Tuesdays and that's kind of what this video was. So if there's anything else like tips that you wanna know about The Sims 4, things that you find difficult like in game, maybe you need like a refresher of cheats or something like that. I will leave the playlist is the word that I'm looking for. I'll leave the Tips Tuesday playlist somewhere on my end screen so you can go and watch through some of those. But if there's anything you guys would like to request to see, any knowledge that you would like me to spread, you know, as a Simfluencer, feel as if I have a lot of intellectual knowledge about The Sims 4. Why am I sat like this? I don't know. But yeah, if there's anything you guys would like to see, then definitely let me know in the comments and I will try and make some videos every Tuesday to help you guys out and just talk you through some things because sometimes we just need a little helping hand and I feel like that's what this video was. Why I decided to record this video with a face cam whilst I'm a sweaty mess on the hottest day of the year? Lord knows, but hey, that's me. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this helped some of you. If you have any other issues that have occurred after like updates or patches, then please do let me know. Or if you need me to like clarify any of the steps for you, then I hope I can help you out in the comments. But thank you all so much for tuning in and I will speak to you all in my next video, which is probably gonna be like island living or heyday because I just wanna sit and chill and play the game. All right, bye guys.